Good morning guys. In today's video we will be repairing the PlayStation 4. This PlayStation 4 slim is displaying the error symptom of the blue light of death. As a common issue with PS4 systems, it results in the inability to display on the TV. The machine has already been inspected by a technician and uh, it was found that the warranty seal is broken and the screw has been unsecured. The interference resistant metal plate from the PSU is missing. And uh, the motherboard is now outside of the machine. To diagnose the issue, I will inspect all relevant parts and check their functionality. I connect the PSU with some extended wires and power on the main power. I apologize, I forgot to put the heat sink on the APU. First, I will check the CPU section of the APU for power. The input oscillations for the inductors are in order and the output volts are available. The power section for the RAMs is also working fine. I will now check the available power in the GPU section of the APU, which also seems to be functioning correctly. And the power section for the Southbridge chip is clearly in order because the system is turning on properly. All the power sections for the different chips are functioning normally. However, the problem could be in the RAM section.
However, before checking for any RAM malfunction, I need to check the biases of each RAM. If you can see that each RAM has a pair of resistances. One pair is at 60 ohms and the other pair is around 1.6 to 1.7 kilo ohms which is not the actual value in the circuit but appears that way. Additionally, there is a single resistance for each RAM which has an actual value of 120 ohms. Oh, this resistance is bad. Yeah, I have found another one that uh, has malfunctioning and uh, I, as I remember that there is no resistance of such a value around 6 kilo ohm or 6.61 .6 kilo ohm. So this resistor has also changed its value. I check the biases of each RAM, finding two deteriorated resistances. One from the RAM biases and one from the APU biases. Despite trying to reflow the resistances, they remain unchanged. I replaced both resistances from the GPU cards RAM section as I don't have any new resistances.
after the replacement I checked their values which were correct And after attaching the peripherals, I also applied a small amount of thermal paste to prevent it from turning off quickly. I powered on the console and the display appeared. The power light changes to white and the display appears indicating that the console is now fixed. I have successfully fixed this game console and it has been booted again. After reassembling the console, I plugged in the power and uh, the HDMI cables. After plugging in the power and HDMI cable and turning it back on, the blue light is still flashing and the display is still on the screen. So guys, this is the story of fixing this game console and I hope it was both informative and enjoyable. Thank you and may God bless you. Goodbye.